is there a difference between being cheap and being frugal? So I put that to y'all. Is there a difference? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, what's what's the difference? Stinginess. Frugal is being careful with your money. Cheap is you go out to dinner with a friend and you just don't want to pay. Yeah, it's not <laughs> frugal to yeah. be cheap. Do what? It's not always frugal to be cheap. Right. Sometimes you have to rebuy that product. And exactly. And that's what I started thinking about is being frugal is being thoughtful, being mindful, and making a conscious decision of your purchases and your savings. Okay? Being frugal is also you always have a savings and you, you also decide mindfully what you're going to buy. You know, you might go to the dollar store and say, oh, well, I got this for a dollar. Well, it may only last you a week. You know, if I spend $10 on a product, it may last me three years or five years. So there's a difference. You know, a lot of people are like, well, I'm cheap. Well, I'm not cheap. I can tell you that right now. If you watch my videos, I'm not cheap. You know, I've got a really good track camper. Right now we're traveling in this, and that's Kim's. And I have a really nice truck. They're all paid for. I'm debt free, been debt free for, I can't even tell you how many years. And the very first thing in writing this book, I was like, well, I could title it how I retired at 54. You know, I'm 55 years old now. And I retired. I had a good job. But I started a long time ago down this road. You know, and I know a lot of us are retired. And I wrote this not just for anybody that wants to start, but the young people. You know, it's available to them to to say, what can I do to start saving for that retirement? You know, I'm retired and I'm living my life and loving it. You know, and I only am able to do that at this age because I started in my 20s. I was like every other 20 year old that I went into debt excessively and lived paycheck to paycheck. Amen. Yeah. And then. I got a clue and started saying, I'm never going to get anywhere. I'm never going to, you know, be able to live the way I want to live. Being frugal is also about being simple. You know, I don't have or need, and it's the difference of need and have, and I don't need a lot of things. I need to eat. I need clothes in my body. I don't need a lot of things. And so I started down the road, and that's the name of the book, is, down the, is the road to frugality. And it was a long process. My father taught me a lot. I dedicated the book to him because he taught me the value of a dollar. And so people were like, well, how do you start? You know, what, what's important? What do you do? What do you don't do? And chapter eight of that book lists 10 things that you can do today. And that's just kind of what I wanted to talk about today. 10 things that you can do today to just start that road. And it's a process. It is a road. And so everybody gets, like I said, everybody will get a um, free ebook. You just sign on to my website. You have to put in your email address and then there'll be a link. But this is part of it. And you can go to my website, frugalrvgal.com, and it's there. Later on, if you don't want to, you know, receive any more emails from me, then you can opt out of it. But to get it, you know, that was the best way I could figure out how to do it. But so. This is 10 things that you can do today. If you don't already do it, you can start by just doing one of them. And then it started growing on me where it became a challenge to myself. You know, like, how much can I save? Or where can I cut this? Or where can I cut that? You know, and some of it is way out there and you're like, I will never do that. And some of it is really practicality where you can really start saving a lot of money. Um, I did one chapter on investing. Obviously, I'm not a professional investor, but you know, I started young investing. That's what I'm living on, you know, and because I did it 30 years ago, and that's you know, you can do you can do it to start, and by starting is you just do one thing, you know, and you pick and choose, and some of these are difficult, and some of them are easy. So, the first one is. Create a budget. Who hates budgets? I do. So, yeah. 
You have to have a budget. If you don't have a budget, you have no idea where to begin. So I hate budgets. I always have hated budgets, and I cuss them, but that's what's kept me on online, you know, on a straight and narrow path. Um, number two is... About eight years ago, I canceled my cable. Yeah. You know, people are like, ah, I can't. <laughs> well, I was sitting there thinking that the only thing I ever watched was the kicking shows, the kicking network, and I was like, wow, I'm spending a whole lot of money. <laughs> I had a uh, telephone bill, a cable bill, and my internet bill was $150 a month. I kept my telephone, my landline, and my cable and I only paid for high-speed internet, which was $50 a month. If that I need, you know. I didn't need cable, I didn't need a landline. So you start looking at what you need and what you can do without. Um, so I cut cable, and you know, with the internet, we've got, I do have Netflix. So, you know, if you need to really cut, that's $8 a month, you can cut that, but I do watch Netflix, and so, you know, like I said, some things you're going to do or want to do or not do, and some things you're going to like, I can't do without. You know, and that's, that's your decisions. Number three is, oh, cut out these. Cut out these water bottles. <laughs> Get you a filter or a water bottle and a good filter. There's a, I just brought that out on the table. That's a Berkey filter. I am not sponsored by them, but they will filter out all of your bad things. You can put river water in there, and it will filter all those things that make you sick. So it'll filter. This is also a Berkey product. It has a built-in filter. So um, just start buying bottles that you can put filtered water in, and you know we save the landfills too. And you know, I do this, but I try not to do this. This is so convenient, and you're just like, take them it. You know, it's just convenient. Some things are, you know, we do out of convenience. Number four, eliminate subscriptions. A lot of people have newspaper, mag. I love magazines. You know, I could just go to the store and buy five different magazines or have subscriptions. Cut out those subscriptions. You know, that's $20 a month or a year or $50 a year or whatever it is. Cut out those things that you're subscribed to. If you don't go to a gym, cut that out. You know, you can do a lot of things. You can walk. You know, I know, like, they, he uses his every day, so keep yours, you know. <laughs> if you use it, then, you know, obviously you keep it. But there's a lot of us that we pay the gym membership and then we're like, so look at all your expenses and, you know, start looking at what you can cut. Buy used. I, I mean, obviously I buy food and some things new, but also when you purchase cars and boats and whatever, you know, I'm not saying if you live frugal, you don't own items because we do and we want to have fun so look for those products you know, when they're used and you'll save tons of money I know right now I'm sweating in my hair but cut your own hair <laughs> <laughs> I the bad thing is that my one of my best friends is my, was my hairdresser for years and I'm like Deborah teach me how to cut my hair well she did well I quit going to her now I cut my own hair so, you know, it doesn't take a lot to learn, you know, you just figure out how to do it or ask someone how, you know, ask your hairdresser, they'll tell you. They'll tell you anything, won't they? <laughs> there you go. I just cut it very short and then you have nothing to worry about. I don't have to stand there and blow dry my hair and make it all puffy. You know? Yeah. Stop paying for entertainment outside the home. Um, I don't know, your kids, grandkids, or whatever, take them to the park. Take them to a state park. Um, take them to the library. Create outdoor activities for them. You know, there's a lot of things you can do, and our kids are like this. 
too much anymore. You know, get them outside, take them hiking, take them geocaching. I mean, geocaching is excellent entertainment for kids and the whole family. And next, this doesn't apply to any of us, go camping. Quit staying in a hotel. You know how much hotels cost. You know, we pay $25 a night here. You know, hotels are 100 plus. So, you know, take, go camping, cut that expense. All your vacations, you know, should be around camping and, and you save tons of money there. And an emergency fund right now. Um, I know y'all. I know y'all watched all my videos. You know. <laughs> yeah, Lola. Okay, Lola's watched all my. No. If you go back and watch all my videos, I've had major problems with my house before I sold it. I had my garage door broke. You know, every bit of that I paid out of emergency fund. I never had to be surprised and say, "Where am I going to get this money to pay for a $400 spring that just broke?" You know, write them a check. So create you an emergency fund. It will save you anguish down the road. It will save you such heartache because when you have that repair, that unexpected repair or, or doctor visit or whatever it is, it doesn't hurt so bad because you've already prepared for that. Also, um, and this is the... The last one, number 10, which is the hardest for most people, and my, pro my family probably doesn't understand it, but it's been years and years and years since I've purchased a birthday gift for them, or a Christmas gift, or any type of physical, you know, toy that they're going to grow out of, you know. Spend time with that person. If it's your best friend, take them to lunch. You know, the experience being with you is better than what you got them six years ago because they're not going to remember. They're going to go, what did you give me six years ago? No. Take them to dinner. Spend time with them. Go, you know, do something that's, that you are building a relationship and something that they're going to remember. They're going to remember that more than, you know, they got me a water bottle six years ago. Make them a video. Yeah, make him a video. Yeah, mm. <laughs> she's, you know, she's this, done that. Yeah. Oh, I did do that. Yeah. I know that one's hard, and a lot of people can't do that, and I understand that. You know, I have nieces. I don't have kids, and I don't have grandkids, but I do have nieces, and they have kids. But they just know that they're not going to get anything from me other than my love. So, but that is the ten top things that I I could say that you could do today. To start on the road to, to frugality and if you, like I said if you're wanting a copy of my book my ebook it is on my website and I have that listed right here so you are welcome to take one of these and I have some stickers this was my very first sticker and notice it has it doesn't even have my name on it <laughs> you know when I first started YouTube I was real shy so what does that stand for? Yeah. It says rest. Uh -huh. This was me retire early, sell and travel. Nice. Oh. So if you have a desire, if you're not doing it now, you know, stick this on your mirror and that's something that you can shoot for and just, you know, save your pennies. Makes me want to take a nap. Rest? <laughs> I know. Like, I can rest now, you know. So but, you know, my friends make fun of me because I pick up every penny in the street, and I'm like, that goes in my savings. So, you know, a penny drops is my, my game. So. I found a quarter. Okay. If y'all have any questions or comments or anything, you know. I think you nailed it. <laughs>